Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. In this video I'll show you my favorite workflow to create 3D levels in Unity. Uh, for the first block out of the map I use a tool called ProGrid and ProBuilder. You can get it by going into Window, Packet Manager and typing ProBuilder and you can just install it. To install ProGrid, it's a little bit different, you can just type it here, it won't show, show up, it's hidden. You need to click this grid here, I mean gear, advanced project settings, and you need to enable preview package. Now you can find it here. Make sure it's Unity Registry. And just install it. In order to start using them, you can simply go to Tools, ProGrid, ProGrid Window, and Tools, Pro, Pro Builder, and Pro Builder Window. Now you can use this to start creating your block out. You can start with a cube. Let's click here in order to see the grid. You can enable the snap. So it moves one block at a time. I won't go into much detail on how you can create this. Uh, if you want me to do another tutorial explaining how to use this tool, I can create one. But for this tutorial, I'll simply create a bas basic shape here. I just created a random shape here. When you have your blackout finished, you click it on the cube and you go to your window and click where it says export. If it has children, in, if you want to include them, select them. I usually write Applied Transforms. You can export textures and all that, but I have nothing. And click Export. Save it where you want it. And now you can open, open it in your favorite 3D software. To add, it, to add in more detail and props and all that, I, will, I use Blender. It's free, you can use it if you want. You can either download it on Steam or from their official website. The advantage of using the Pro Builder is that you can create quick prototypes maps and you can test them without going into much detail. And when you have something that you like, you can simply export it to Blender and add more detail. So let me just jump into Blender. Inside Blender, you can just go to File import obx and you just open the file here it is you let the cube and you can add import other objects here let me add more stuff You can also edit the map if you want to. I won't add anything more, it's just for the tutorial. When you have it done, you can simply export it. If you have multiple objects like I do, use the FBX format. To create textures, I use uh, Substance Painter and then I add them in Unity but you can do also add them inside Blender, it's fine it's how you prefer, it doesn't matter then you can go back to Unity and you can just drag the file that you exported and there you go, if you reset the position, give me a second you can delete the old one 
Here you go, you have the model that you created. Let me remove the light. We don't need it. We also don't need a camera. Now, because you have all the objects separated, it's quite easy to give materials to, to them. Let me just add some here that I have. And just like that, you can create maps. That's my favorite way to do them. You don't have to use any of the software that I use, you can choose other ones. I know Substance Painter isn't free, but you can but you can have it for free if you have student license. Or you can create the textures everywhere you want, even in Blender, it doesn't matter. Blender is totally free. I know I didn't go into much detail on how to use ProBuilder or Blender, but that wasn't the point of this tutorial. It was only to show you my process of creating levels, how you can very easily use ProBuilder Pro to create your block out and then improve it on Blender. If you want, uh, I can create another tutorial on how to use ProGrid and ProBuilder and and even Blender, although I'm not that good at Blender, I know enough to get around. And yeah, that was all for this video, and I'll see you on the next one.